Okay, so I have no makeup on. I just got out of the shower and I'm not really feeling very good right now. <laughs> As you can see, my eyes are pretty swollen and I might cry in this video because of it. Um, because it hurts and it itches at the same time, so I don't really know what to do. What to do about it? <laughs> anyway, um, welcome to another tea time video. I thought that um, because of the topic of this video, it would be uh, perfect <laughs> for me to film right now when I'm feeling down and I do not look like. Um, I usually do in my videos. Usually I would I would do my makeup for filming and um, except for the makeup tutorials that I, I film but never post. So um, people will think that I'm such a wuss for crying over <laughs> my swollen eyes but it really fucking hurts so I can't really help it. So for the topic of this video I just wanted to talk about um, some situations I've been seeing on YouTube on some channels that I follow yeah for example Umi King uh, she used to post sewing videos DIYs and now she's posting other stuff and she posted a video I think it the title was I should have uh, told you these things a long time ago or something like that it should be noted that I did not watch the whole video because I didn't have time but I did watch to the point where she apologized for um, changing she said I'm sorry I changed or something like that and uh, I've seen the same situation on other channels where people they grow and they become someone else so I just wanted to say you should never ever feel like you have to apologize for who you are for who you've become in life people grow up and that's it like people they get new interests or they find a new style and people will post oh I miss the old whoever posted <laughs> other types of videos I've also seen seen people apologize for the way they look in a video or on their blog, heck I've even done it <laughs> back when I used to write a blog it would be if their makeup wasn't quite right or their hair wasn't quite right that day and you should not apologize for that either it's just too wrong, it's who you are and it is okay if your makeup did not turn out perfect or if your hair did not turn out perfect that's also why I did not do my makeup and also because my eyes are swollen I cannot do my makeup now um, I feel like such a wuss for <laughs> almost crying over my eyes <laughs> okay I'm gonna stop touching my eyes now <laughs> the point of this video do not apologize for being who you are. Do not apologize for not looking quite bright one day. Like it's who you are that day and it's okay not to be perfect because no one is truly perfect. We all have imperfections, but we just have to learn to 
embrace them because they are a part of you and if you want to get a nose job like do it <laughs> because there are things we can do to feel better and it's okay it's your body so truly do not apologize for being who you are and I think I've said that too many times in this video I almost ate the thread <laughs> in today's society there are so many beauty standards out there and we gotta start going against it really if you want to follow trends then do that do your thing if you want to if you want to dye your hair or dress like a lolita or gothic or emo or whatever just do it because it makes you happy and do not do anything that doesn't make you happy and don't do anything that doesn't feel right Anyway, I think I'm just gonna end this video here. I hope you're having a good day or night or whenever you're watching this. Please like, subscribe, comment and you know the drill by now. <laughs> and let me know what you think. Um, if I forgot to say something in this video, please let me know. Bye bye, see you in the next video.